Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see what do you mean by peak to peak detector and how the circuit of peak to peak detector works. So let's begin with the topic. detector or a peak detector is considered as one of the non-linear application of op-amp. Peak to peak detector circuits are basically used to detect either positive or negative or both the peak of input signal. We know that rectifier is a circuit which provides average value of the input signal as output. But in some of the application we require only peak values of the input signal. So in that case peak to peak detector circuit is used. We know that in case of any signal, there are two types of peak values and they are positive peak value and negative peak value. So based on that, there are two types of peak detector, positive peak detector and negative peak detector. In today's video, we are going to see what do you mean by peak to peak detector. That means the circuit will conduct or the circuit will provide output as a positive peak value. In today's video, we are going to see peak to peak detector. That means the circuit which detect the positive as well as negative peak value of the input signal and hold that value for a certain period of time. So let's first understand the circuit so that we will come to know how the circuit will operate. The circuit of peak to peak detector basically consists of negative peak detector circuit, positive peak detector circuit, and op-amp used in a subtractor mode. Now let's first understand how the circuit of positive peak detector work. In case of positive peak detector circuit, basically the op-amp is used in a voltage follower configuration. That means the gain of op-amp is equal to one. The positive peak detector circuit is basically used to detect the positive peak value of the input signal. Output of the op-amp is given to diode D1 and D2. Diode D1 in this case, that means in case of positive peak detector, will conduct only during the positive half cycle. Or else we can say the circuit is sensitive only during the positive half cycle. Both the diodes are assumed to be ideal. Therefore, the diode D2 will clamp the output voltage to zero volt if it is ideal one. But if we are looking from practical application, then diode D2 will clamp the output voltage to a negative minus 0.7 volt. So during first positive half cycle of the input signal, diode D1 is forward bias and it will charge the capacitor to the maximum peak value of the input signal. During negative half cycle, the diode D1 become reverse bias because after reaching the peak value of input signal, the input signal starts decreasing towards a negative half cycle. So that will make the diode D1 reverse bias. The circuit operates in two modes of operation that is track mode and hold mode. In track mode, the diode will charge the capacitor to the maximum peak value whereas in hold mode, the diode D1 gets reversed bias and now the capacitor will hold the charge until the next positive half cycle arrives. So when the next positive half cycle arrives, the capacitor will now charge to a new peak value. Therefore, in circuit of peak detector, whether it is positive or negative peak detector, it is very much important to have the input signal which is having increasing magnitude rather than having a constant magnitude. So the positive peak detector circuit will work only during the positive half cycle of input signal and detect the positive peak value of the input signal. Now moving towards a negative peak detector. In case of negative peak detector, if we change or if we reversed the direction of connection of diode in positive peak detector, then we will get the circuit of negative peak detector. So in case of negative peak detector circuit, the diode will conduct during negative half cycle or else we can say the circuit is sensitive only during the negative half cycle of input signal. So during first negative half cycle of input signal, the diode D1 become forward bias Op-amp is used to be in voltage follower configuration only and therefore it provides gain of 1. So during first negative half cycle, diode D1 conduct and it will charge the capacitor to the maximum negative peak value of input signal. So the circuit also having two modes of operation that is track mode and hold mode. In case of track mode, the capacitor charges to a maximum negative peak value. Whereas in case of hold mode, the capacitor will store the maximum peak value 
for a certain period of time that means until the next negative half cycle so in case of neg next negative half cycle the capacitor will now charge to a new value which is higher than the previous one here also the input waveform must have the increasing magnitude if the magnitude is same then the capacitor will not show any change in the output waveform because in that case the diode become in the reverse bias condition and it will not allow the capacitor to charge to a new value so at voltage v1 we will get negative peak of the input signal whereas at voltage v2 we will get positive peak value of the input signal so this voltage v1 and v2 is applied as an input to the op amp which acts as a comparator so finally at the output we will get value that means the output value as a difference between voltage applied to the non-inverting and inverting terminal of op amp that means vo is equals to v2 minus v1 so finally at the output we will get both positive as well as negative peak value as output so i hope you understand the topic of peak to peak detector which detect both positive as well as negative peak value of the input signal which are used in the application like testing and measurement amplitude modulation amplitude demodulation and many more application so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe Ikira. Thank you.